Okay, we're up. Uh, we're, we're at the <laughs> we're at the beach here. Yeah, we're at the beach. This is the area that attaches a Hollywood beach to Foster Beach. Notice the structures over here. The size of the structures. Notice the waves that are hitting the structures. It's important to remember that a mere few years ago, the lake level was literally five feet higher than it is right now, and these waves would not be stopping at the at the wall, at the vertical wall, they would be overtopping the vertical wall and running up here. This gives you an idea of the kinds of sizes of structure you need to extend the parkland further north. This is something that Friends of the Parks doesn't tell you. These massive, massive structures that would be needed to protect the land on the landward side of them against wave action when the lake levels go up. And the lake level will go up. But again, you see, no one out here, totally unused facility. If you can pan down to Foster Avenue Beach, I detect three or four people at the far end of the beach over there. So now we've seen two large beaches with maybe eight to ten people on them on a beautiful Saturday morning. Again, giving lie to the claim that Friends of the Park makes that this area is underserved by public access beaches.